Hello my friends and welcome back to another Overwatch map overview. This time we're taking a look at Busan. It's the new control point and the first thing I'm going to do after turning on only Busan is come in here to the control section and we're going to go down to limit valid control points because I want to see the third one first. I want to see what that's all about. So let's go on in there and start this game right away. Oh, it looks nice. I want to go find that pig and see where they're all about. We'll do this with our old trusty standby, and we'll turn off the UI, and we're checking out what looks to be the training area where you start out at. This is pretty cool, and look at that. They all have dynamic elements. That is pretty cool. I dig it. All right, so this is the briefing room that you start out in on this map, and you can come out here, and there's three different ways to go. You can go down this way, but it's very, very dangerous. Down below, you will find no railing. Well, dangerous for some more so than others, you know, you know. Oh, there could be a little sneaky way over here for some people, for some people. Can you get out around here? Yes, you can. All right, so that could be kind of fun that way, but a nice small health pack there. If you'll notice, this is the way out. It comes through here through this tight little choke. It's mirrored on the other side, so the other team has to deal with this as well. So if you had a Lucio, you can press over here and take advantage of anybody trying to come through this really tight hole. Uh, onto the objective here. There's a coast over there, and speaking of dynamic elements, how about these blast shields, ladies and gentlemen? That's pretty cool. Uh, look out for the coastline over there. This is apparently where the mechas launch out at. Oh, Evangelica, oh, oh, I don't know the theme music. <coughs> Anywho's. Wow, that's pretty cool. I dig that. I dig that. All right, there's a high ground here with a minor health pack. Yeah, works pretty well. This is the upper high ground left as you would have come out of this passageway here if you'll recognize the orange right there's a tube that goes up as well right whoops this button there you go Junkrat up here easy lucio up here easy Farah up here easy etc etc diva actually can get up there easy but the thrusters you better wait until you're like up over here so anyways that's the down way and it's uh you know i wouldn't recommend it uh but it's it's could be used quickly this is the way I would recommend uh, coming up onto the high ground. There's a small health pack there, as you saw. There's a small health pack there, as you see. And over here, more of these chambers. Nothing really to do here. You know, you can't really sit in them or anything. The other team has to come up that way as well to get to this point, you know, in a mirrored fashion. All of these maps are pretty mirrored. This tube drops down into the mecha training, or mecha storage room, excuse me. This is the only mega on the map. That's why I wanted to point this out to you. As you can see, Diva's Mecha is not here because she's, uh, or Hannah's Mecha, Diva, is not here. Is that how it goes? I don't get it. Anyways, out here, uh, back up and down. That's, that's pretty nice. Good high ground position here. You know, some angles to give you some cover, right? Get back over here, I'd guess, if you needed to, but there's this around here. Again, those dynamic elements down here. Again, I think I showed you this, but you can come into the Mecha room, right? So that's uh, this map, that's the third map, that's the Mecha Hangar map, I guess, is what it's called, you know? All right, so let's go to the second map by going back out to the lobby. And was it the lobby or settings? Settings, and then we're gonna go to modes again, control again, and we're gonna go to the second map, and we're gonna watch the second one second. Uh, no, we're doing nothing in order. We're gonna watch the first one second, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and uh, come back and restart the match. Aha! What the? Oh, and here we go. I still want to go find that uh, cow, that floating cow. It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, hold on. But before we do that, <laughs> before we do that, this is the arcade, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's a, you know, a cyber cafe, right? And over here is the Dance Dance Revolution machine. And they're dancing. And if they're going to dance, I'm going to dance. Hold on a second. Where is it? Where's my dance? Oh no, here it is! Yeah! I could do the dance floor, I could do the dance floor, dance floor 76, going for the high score, gonna be on top of the list, yeah, S76. Only D.Va and that hacker Sombra ever beat me over at Blizzard World at the Nexus Arcade. That's ridiculous. Anyways, if you look really closely, you can see that the floor lights up when you do the things, right? So you can actually do the things. What? Stop going blind on me. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Uh, let me switch to a different tune for this man. Uh, yes, Lucio coming at you. Ladies and gentlemen, out the left door, you will find nothing. 
street is blockaded, right? This tree is here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. No, no. Ah, oh, I don't like climbing up the tree. All right, there's not much over here. This is just pretty much a fast route out to this little minor health pack and drop down here. But it does go down to the theater large health pack. We'll get back to that in a minute. All right. The other routes you can take out whoop, are over here. Oh, I didn't quite make it. All right. Again, nothing out there. You can come this way. This goes down. This is a tight tunnel. You shouldn't expect them here. But if they've beaten you off, they might try to hold you here or watch out for this. There's another small over here. Uh, this little thing is, I don't know, cover. <laughs> Be careful over here on this coastline. Boom, that is a train. And this is a hole in the wall, Roadhogs. Looks awfully big, doesn't it? I'm just letting you know, all right? That's a caution sign I can't read. I can't read! Not because I'm illiterate, but because I'm not literate in that language. All right, uh, uh, okay, 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 this is, okay, okay, okay. I hadn't tested that, so now I have, and now I feel a little bit more comfortable about being up here. Let me, slow down, slow down, Lucio, slow down, slow down. There's no hurry, you're climbing up here and you're having a lot of fun doing it, right? All right, so up here, that's the objective. It's uh, kind of got a lot of over, you know, overhead here or high ground cover, but getting to high ground is not as easy as you think. Uh, you actually have to come up there and stay up there. If you drop down, it's over. I don't think there's stairs to get back up there. You can, this little room right here that has glass coverage that goes back as that one did over there to that low ground position. Uh, down there is nothing, right? But let's go over this way. Boom, boom. Come over here, there's this, so you got this kind of cover, like that, right? In here is the theater, and again, the only mega on the entire map, right? Okay. Uh, again, both sides are pretty much mirrored. There might be some cosmetic differences, but, you know, that's it. Let me go show you what I was talking about, about the high ground over here, right? It's all railed in, there's no place to really get, get up here from. And then this is indestructible glass, that's what I was trying to reference earlier. Uh, I've seen some very clever junk rats just back and forth right here, right? That's a lot of cover to bounce and then bouncing off of that ricocheting in, you know, that's not bad. All right, I'm going to go check out the movie and uh, let's go check out the other video, not the other video, the other map. <laughs> Stay on this video. I'll show you other videos to watch. <laughs> uh, let's do this one with Widowmaker. Yeah, I like this. This looks nice. One shot, one, one kill. Shot. Bang. All right. Coming out on this one. This one's interesting. A lot of open space. This is, uh, you'll see a lot of Hanzos coming off of here. How do I want to do this one? Let's go. This is kind of boring. Let's go this way first. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's this little rock garden here. Hardly any cover for any particular reason that comes up, but it gives you this kind of sight line on the next position, the medium position in, I guess. We're, it's weird. Um... There's a mega here though, and that's what I wanted to point out. So the bull, <laughs> the bull, bull, bored, dull, boring way, that's the word I'm looking for, has the mega. And there's another mega on the other side of this little temple thing here. There's a miner here, as you can see, but there's nothing else here. Over there, where their little temple thing is, that's their mega. The drum. Look out for Genji's hanging out on top of the drum, ladies and gentlemen. They like to just jump up on there and hang out there. All right. So this way in to that, that's the main point over there. Why am I taking so long, you might ask? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking it through. Okay, destructible, destructible. Another miner's here, but as you can see, there's that sight line. However, you know, it's tight, but you can get in there, right? Let's see if I can take out, oh, there's, the, the turtle head side is over here. Oh, a little short of the eye. Over on the right-hand side, we have this pagoda building, another miner, right? Coast. So Lucio definitely can make all of that. Don't you worry about that. I've done that a couple times already. Up here, there's another couple interesting angles. Whoops. Sometimes people will be there on their high ground trying to look in, right? There's this down here is a low ground area that is just a pass through to their side. I say just a pass through. Oh, and here's another mega. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about this one. <laughs> so there's three megas on this map. Oh, that's what, there's two Megas, but it's like, I'm thinking about it like there's one here and one at your own, you know, but there's three total, my bad. Uh, but wow, yeah, I don't believe I even remembered her seeing that lately. Cool, that's very helpful, no, 
no problems over here. So now you have the this and you got that big drum. This looks like it's going to be a Brawly kind of place, a Brigida kind of place, a Reinhardt kind of place. Uh, Farrah might not have as much luck in here with that roof, you know. Uh, but this is the main objective. Right here. Really, really tight. Look how small it is. Right in here. All right. So, woo, fight cautiously. Do some pillar humping, you know. <laughs> Old school. This is up onto the high ground on this side. Over here is that long ramp over to here, you know. So this map is, I'm still kind of figuring this one out. So that's kind of why I came to it last because I don't really know uh, what I'm going to do with it yet. This thing is completely destructible. It's funny watching Divas fly through there and just pop it out like a cork, you know. Uh, but those are the maps. Those are the Busan maps. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, by all means, give Blizzard a thumbs up. And if you really liked my review of them, why not consider subscribing for more content just like this coming real soon. If you cannot wait that long, YouTube has hand-selected a video for you on the left. And I have put together my playlist of Nubernaut moments and top 15 play of the games on the bottom left. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And... Let them eat cake.